Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay, if it's presented to her as it should be. Und damit hallöchen, ihr Lieben! Herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge Game of Thrones! Ja, wir spielen jetzt mit Mira Forrester, glaube ich, hieß sie. Ähm, wir gucken jetzt uns hier mal ein bisschen weiter um. Schauen wir mal diese schöne Truhe an. Oh, eine Münze. Ein Zettel. Mehr Münzen. Wir schauen uns erstmal das Geld an. Geld ist immer gut. Asher sent me this coin, to remember him. Oh, Asher. It's a strange place, Essos. Ich mag die Stimme übrigens total, also so... Also ich mag die Aussprache sehr. Was ist das da? It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Hm, okay, Lady Elena. Lady Marjorie kennen viele, die vielleicht auch Game of Thrones kennen. Die kennen vielleicht auch Lady Marjorie. Los, schau. Uh, look at. Okay. Nee, wir wollen den lesen. Dann, sie sagt nicht so viel dazu. Dann lesen wir den mal. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you. And I look forward to the day you can. Okay. Lady Marjorie, die wird nämlich den lieben Joffrey heiraten. Ja, ja. Ich hoffe, das ist kein Spoiler für euch in dem Sinne. Aber nun, ja. Was haben wir hier? Coldbrazer. Oder was auch immer man das, wie man es ausspricht. Okay. Ich hoffe, ich übersehe hier nichts. Was haben wir hier noch? Obst. Da haben wir ein Buch. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. Oh. A gift from Roderick. Sich irgendwie Märchen oder Sagen oder sowas. Mein I Handy hope to see vibriert. them all Ach nee, Janas Handy hat vibriert. Es liegt hier so rum. So, dann gucken wir mal aus dem Fensterchen. King's Landing. I wonder oh. if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Oh Mann, warum können wir nicht rausgucken? Das ist sehr schade, wie ich finde. La la la, schön. Okay, hier glaube ich können wir nichts mehr machen. Oh, doch, da. Nee, okay, hier gibt es nichts mehr zu gucken. Also glaube ich müssen wir nach draußen, oder? Was? Nee. Nicht ihr Ernst. Nicht ihr Ernst, was? Was, was? Ach, hier. Letter from Mother. Mother. Von der Mutter. Okay. It troubles me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope. And can be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Okay. Gut, gehen wir mal zur Tür und gucken, wer da ist. Da. One moment. Hallo, wer ist hier? Oh, sorry, my lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. So, let him in. No, it's fine. Come in. Okay, dann schauen wir mal, was dieser Junge hier will. Jetzt ist meine Mama im gekommen. So, okay. Der Junge, was Begin macht er? Pardon, lady, but you're right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. Um, I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. You avoided. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. Ich weiß nicht, ob das einfach ratsam ist, dass wir da einfach mit you irgendwie work reden. Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. 
I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forrester. House Forrester? Hmm. But, yeah, House. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. Oh, that's a You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Oh, did I see ya? Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Ich mag die äh, Marjorie übrigens total gerne. Ich finde, das ist echt eine Süße. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must Shit. not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North, whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Yes. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but... She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. Shit. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Okay. Oh, bye, yeah. So See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Oh, bye, yeah. Oh, bye, yeah. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Okay. Good luck. Oh man. Das wird jetzt was geben, ey. Oh weia, oh weia. Wir alle wissen ja, wie es der Essay ist. Oh, Tyrion! You can do this. Okay. Können wir uns auch woanders hin begeben? Ne, wir können nur noch gerade ausgehen, ne? Oh Gott. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Oh, das ist süß. Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? Da ist With your ja. permission. Allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Uh, near before her. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. Okay. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? 
I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Oh, Vaya. Yeah. No. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king, Your Grace. Hmm. And yet... For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. I take it this is the kind of loyalty the King can expect from you. If you have any loyalty at all. Best. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roos Bolton? Ah, Roos Bolton also served the Starks, Your Grace. Oh, fire. And proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose. But I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forster Ironwood does seem rather unique. Our talent is unrivaled, Your Grace. Forrester Ironwood is highly sought after in the Seven Kingdoms. So I'm told. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. Oh, fire. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? Uh, she was just following her heart, Your Grace. And the very same heart so quickly led her to my son. If there's a ah, point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. If you are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie, one can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure Let she would... Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry oh, you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. Oh man, I think we have full verbocked. I'd like a word with you if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Oh, scheisse. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. 
I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I was trying to appease her. I think that was clear to everyone. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. I wouldn't want to anger Cersei. And you'd be wise not to. But... I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion. But it's a risk I cannot afford. I admire your discretion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Oh, ich glaube, ich habe diese Sequenz echt ganz schön verbockt mit meinen Antworten. Habe ich so das Gefühl. Aber nun ja, ich hoffe, es ist nicht allzu schlimm. Ich wünschte, ich hätte bei dem einen zu Marjorie mich, mich dafür entschieden. Mira, I was worried. Shit. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, <laughs> what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish for wife. He is quite handsome. And quite passionate, from what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows, we might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I don't want to be queen no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? You northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. <laughs> Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well? Sarah? We're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. Uh. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once I know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? It doesn't matter what you feel. It only matters what you say. 
You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Okay. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. Oh, okay, yeah. It's about my family. I trust her. Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? Uh, okay. My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Uh, Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. My mother feels it is urgent, my lady. She's unfamiliar with King's Landing and its politics. I hope you can understand that. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Puh, ich glaube, das haben wir jetzt ein bisschen besser gemeistert. Ich hoffe, es war okay, dass diese Sierra, Sarah, bla, blub mit dabei war. Und dass die nicht eine blöde Kuh ist. Aber ich glaube, ehrlich gesagt, dass sie eine blöde Kuh ist. Aber nun, ja, mal gucken. Ach Gott, ach Gott. Das kann ja was werden. Das tut doch nach den Dingen eigentlich immer nach den einzelnen Personen immer abspeichern, oder? Okay. Gut. Ja, beim nächsten Mal geht's wieder weiter. Wir machen jetzt erstmal einen Cut an dieser Stelle. Ich muss jetzt noch tolle Sachen für Silvester vorbereiten. Ich muss jetzt noch ein Fünf-Gänge-Menü kochen. Ein Spaß. Es gibt einfach nur... Brezen. Nein, Spaß, was laber ich für eine Scheiß. Ah, oh, Homo und Kaviar. Natürlich, natürlich. Also, ihr Lieben, beim nächsten Mal geht's weiter. Gebt mir noch ein Pfötchen nach oben und schaltet beim nächsten Mal wieder rein. Also, ihr Lieben, bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüdelü. Ach ja, da mich nach oben, bla bla. <lacht>